Hi, I'm Marshall Jacklin. I'm cool as fuck. Um, and last month I bought this red camera right here because I'm rich. So let's take a look at it and build it together. So let's start building this thing. So the first thing we're gonna put on is the monitor. It's a nice four and a half inch touchscreen monitor. This is how we're gonna control the camera for the most part. Um, doesn't connect with any cords. It just has these pins right here. So you're gonna start by lining up the pins and it'll kind of snap in a little bit. And then you hold it there while you screw in the, uh, the screws. Now we got that on there, it's pretty quick. Now let's do the top handle. Same deal, we got these two screws right here. So we're gonna line it up and grab our Allen key and do the same thing. So the reason everything screws into the brain instead of using NATO rails or clamps or anything like that is just so it all stays solid and compact, no cords or wires. Um, this just kind of helps with reliability and makes the overall system more usable and um, long-term proof. Next we're going to put the side handle on. It as well doesn't have any wires to control the camera, it'll just clip in right here. But first we got to take off that plate. Now we've got the plate off, we can put the handle on. So again, line up the pins to this little uh, place where the pins are going to go. <laughs> and, and it'll pop it in. And there's a thumb screw right here, so you can start by tightening that and then tighten all the rest. Great, now we got the side handle on. Let's pop the V-mount battery on here, and then we'll get the lens and then we'll power it on. V-mounts just click right down. They also have other back plates that have gold mounts. Um, actually, just gold mount and V-mount, those are your options. Or you can power it with an AC power adapter, um, just straight to an outlet, but uh, we've got the V-mount plate for now. It has a lens locking ring, so after you click the lens into place, turn the ring, to the right until it's snug, and now we've got our completed camera build for at least for handheld. So let's go ahead and turn it on. As you can see, it's going to take like 40 to 60 seconds because it it does. It takes a long time. It, you kind of have to treat it like a computer. It takes a long time to boot up. You have to shut it down. You can't just pull the power off or turn it off. And same with the media, you have to eject it. You can't just pull it out or turn it off and pull it out. So uh, a really popular thing that was shot on Red was the first season of Stranger Things, and that did pretty well, and then they got better cameras. So I don't know. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing about the Red, but they did it. If you've seen Stranger Things, you've seen Red footage. So, so that's my setup for my new Red Raven. Um, I just primarily shoot student films on it, so I'm very excited about it. In the next training video, we're going to be talking through some specs and how to use this sucker when you're out in the field. Thank you.